Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. So today, I want to show you the Aeon Z-Stick. This is a USB device that allows you to connect it to a computer, then allows control of various Z-Wave devices. It's a very simple interface to use, it's got one button, and it's pretty easy to set up. So, what I want to do is show you a little bit about how I use it with my home seer automation system and the functions of it. So on this device, there's only one button. It's a single uh, button with an LED ring around it. And what it does is it shows you whether you're in include mode or in exclude mode. So to set up your uh, Z-Wave devices, um, you have to pair them first. And what happens is you'll come in and you'll just press the button one time and you'll see the, the light will be flashing at a very slow pace. When this is flashing in this mode, that means it's in pair mode. So you would push the corresponding pair button on the Z-Wave device and it will add it to this Z-Wave stick. Once you're done, just push the button and it will stop. Now if you have a device that you want to remove from the this Z-Stick, you hold it down for about three seconds. And now you're going to see a flash that's a little faster pace. This means you're in the exclude mode. So depending on the manufacturers of the Z-Wave device, some are a little different, but usually when you put it in the exclude mode, you'll do the same pair device button on the Z-Wave, and that will remove the device from here. So once you're finished with adding or removing devices, you'll just go back, plug it into your PC or whatever device you're using to control your Z-Wave, and then we'll show you how to bring those devices, and in my case, into Home Seer, and be able to use those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my PC, and I will show you how the Z-Wave interface is for Home Seer. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the Z-Stick, and you're going to plug it into your computer. And it'll go through, and it'll install the, the drivers and, and add it to the system. Then your next step would be to get it integrated in with your home automation package. Here I'm going to use HomeSeer, but you can use OpenHab. There, there's several that it's compatible with. But for here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add it into the HomeSeer system. So first of all, we've got to add the Z-Wave plugin. Now, kind of ignore, it's already showing up on my plugins, but uh, I'm just going to kind of show you how, what the steps are to do it. So you're going to go to Manage. And it's not going to be listed here when you come into your screen. So what you want to do is you want to go down to additional interfaces. And this is going to be listed under the lighting and primary technology. So now one of the things that HomeSeer does is it allows plugins. And the plugins allow the software to interface with different devices. So this is going to be a plugin. And you can see there's one for Z-Wave, Insteon. There's several uh, that you can get. Uh, Zigbee. You have, if you have a Zigbee controller, HomeSeer is compatible with it. That's the nice thing about HomeSeer. You're free to use various other protocols. So here, we would just click on the install, and it would show up under the, the, the install up here once that's uh, ready to go. So once it's set up, and you'll come up back to the plugins, and we can actually go and do controller management. And what's going to happen is, is we're going to want to add our Z-Wave device. So it would be in this drop-down. You would want to name it something. If you've got two, that's fine. Uh, you can name them one and two. I just named mine Z-Stick. And once you add it, it'll show up under your interfaces. So here, um, I'm not going to get too uh, bogged down in the actions. Um, but once it's in there, you can go to your import and export uh, your, your scan devices. This is where if you've added a device or you've deleted a device, you would come in here and it would either add or remove it from HomeSeer. So that's basically it as far as getting the Z-Stick set up with HomeSeer. Pretty straightforward. Um, in a later video, what I'll do is I'll show you the actual pairing process and adding a device into HomeSeer. But for now, I'm just going to kind of keep it uh, just adding the, the, the Z-Stick itself. So if you have any questions, drop me a comment below. And I will put a link uh, to the Z-Stick uh, 
There's the newer version out now, and I'll put a link to it in the description below. And uh, I look forward for you coming back, and please like and subscribe to my channel.